No, oh, they're wondering why I came back to more Murdoch RPG. This time, we're hopefully gonna beat the Arena Champion, Helm the Paladin, somehow. We're gonna try and do something like this. Try and keep him there. I have to... Actually, I can do the... Feel the rush. Um, still good. This is really cheap. This is really cheap. I really don't like doing this, but this guy, he's also cheap. And fighting something cheap with cheapness is okay in my book. So if we do this, we're on... How much? We're on 10 and This should be enough. 10 should be enough. And we got it. Good fucking job. Ashkandi, great sword of the Brotherhood. Finally, look at our damage. 102 to 136. And my level is too fucking low. Fuck you. This... Yeah, I wanna do it. Let's start with this. I want to browse your goods. Level 20 as well. Oh my god. Tell this one. This shit isn't even that good. Actually, no, this thing's better. Also, it's level 20. Holy shit, that fucking shield. No, it's not even, it's not even that good. Okay guys, I will have to cut right here. I'm, well, you're not gonna notice the cut because I'm gonna do the, do the next thing right after this. But I'm gonna have to grind for a bit. And I'll see you guys in just a second. But I'm gonna be grinding for like fucking an hour or something until I get level 20. See? Oh my god, that took forever. How long we wanna... Yeah, hard on me. So, it took me like two hours. Uh, but we finally got it, level 20. Somehow made a mouse point from here, I don't know how. Got everything. More importantly, we... Level 20, we're able to put on the Seal of Jin, which gave us agility, which gave us maximum energy. Finally, holy shit, that took so long to get more at maximum energy. We're able to use Ashkandi, the Great Sword of the Brotherhood, and also use the Grand Marshal's Claymore. Now, I've done some testing, and Ashkandi does about 50% more damage than the Grand Marshal's Claymore does. However, Grand Marshal's Claymore, we have 500 more HP, or somewhere around that. So, we got a little bit of some options now. What I'm gonna do is, obviously now the only thing left in the game is to fight Hakar, the Soul Flayer. So, I'm gonna try and fight Hakar, and with this sword right now, with maximum damage. And we're gonna see what happens. If that doesn't quite work out, then I'm gonna switch to the Grand Marshal Sword and see if I can tank him out. And apart from that, I'm just gonna have to see if maybe I need to do some weird strategy to somehow make it. I don't know. To find out how we're gonna do this. We're going to do something really lame in the end as well. We're gonna do this. We're gonna shield ourselves. Life tap, I feel the rush. We're not gonna call blood right now because we're gonna need to get every single bit of damage out from our energy that we can. However, I know, Wow, nice counter attack. However, I know about how much damage I can do, and I know that I do about 1500 this. Oh. I feel the rush. A pummel here for safety. And that's a kill! This damage is actually ridiculous. And we get Shinro, Destroyer of Worlds. Which it's actually the worst of the three, I think. Yeah, it's got the least damage, and it's got the least damage. I don't know. It drops. And we finally managed to beat Hakar, the Soul Flayer. And if you remember correctly, there was this one troll that told us he, in order to be safe, to destroy Hakar. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna see what he has to say to us. 
Hopefully it's gonna be something really nice. Not the fuck what it is. So I also think that there's something special happening when we go through the portal that happened, uh, that opened up when we Miraculous story. I'm not quite sure exactly what happens again. Find that out. Fucking damn. Yeah, this guy. Now we're true human. We take this gift and we get Azara's charm of magic, a neck thing that gives 24 agility. All because we've beaten everything in the game right now. So what you understand? Also sell this. Yeah, we can't fly the blob talisman, so we can't go full on everything. Oh, kind of. But okay. By the way, something I found out for getting some money, which is not really a reliable thing to do, but I don't know. Might actually be the best way to get gold. Is sometimes there's a random chance when you get a fight with a tiger or a gorilla or anything in this area. Just any random fight has a random chance, that's a random fight, but any fight you go into has a random chance of spawning a harpy instead of the enemy you just ran in. So on the world map, or where I am right now, uh, world map, the map, whatever I'm in right now, it looks like it's like a tiger or a gorilla, but if you run into it, there's a chance it's instead a harpy. That harpy drops a caster staff, benediction, and that staff drops, uh, sells for multiple amounts, it's multiple, uh, I think it's like 5 gold or 3 gold or something. It, it sells for some gold. And you can use that to like, get some gold for some other stuff in here. I think that's actually the end of Murloc RPG. As far as I know, I don't Say. It says that there's a dragon, but he doesn't know anything else. You just know that maybe there is a dragon. You don't know. About there as well. We're gonna get in the machine, and we're gonna go back all the way. Oh look, it's a Man. It's a bit odd seeing a Murloc build a Shkandi, the Great Sword of the Brotherhood, but why not? I like it. Go back in our camp where absolutely nothing has changed. We're gonna just go into. And so, Brave Merc fall through the only to find another adventure that awaits. Oh. Why do you have... I have no idea what that guy just said. Or did, did I, maybe he said, like, I'm going to kill him? Sounds a bit like the singer from. Bram, we did it. That's been Murloc RPG 2. Uh, Murloc RPG. Coming up is Murloc RPG 2. And after Murloc RPG 2, I think I'm gonna continue with Final Fantasy 2. So see you guys then.